All right, so we're checking out the SNT Neva E Nano. So this is a 143 scale RC truck uh, rock crawler. Uh, uses the same uh, controller and goggles as previously, and also the same FPV camera, and it uses the same FPV camera system here with a little cover there, and it's magnetic, and then the cameras just attach magnetically on top, and then you can, um, you know, drive this around via an FPV goggle setup. Uh, so just to compare to the previous generation, this is the, this is a 164th scale rock crawler, and you can see how much size difference there is here, quite a bit. It is uh, noticeably smaller, and it does have a, just play in terms of as a factor in terms of its ability to go over obstacles. We'll talk about that here momentarily, but let's just talk about the car itself. So uh, this does come in uh, again, just like all the other SNT products, comes in all these different versions. Um, this happened to be the one with uh, just the car and nothing else, and I have to have the camera from another kit and this and they're all they're basically they're all the same camera so I just moved it over so you can get the car by itself or the car and the controller or you can get everything there's a complete kit the camera the car the controller and the goggles so when you go to the site and you click on the link make sure you select the correct version otherwise um, you'll be disappointed and get something that you didn't want to get that has happened to a lot of people they've uh, contacted me and said hey I, I thought I was gonna get this but you know uh, if you just go to the link and don't click anything you're probably just gonna get the car only um, and not everything else so they everyone thinks oh that's a great price for the complete system and they end up just getting the car because uh, they didn't click the version that they wanted Anyway, uh, in terms of the controller and the goggles, I covered this in previous videos, so I will link those in the video description if you want to have some details on how this works. It's exactly the same, and so I've actually taken this controller and bound it up to uh, many of these different cars. You can bind them up to several cars, and they will, you know, uh, you can actually drive multiple at the same time if you power them all up. Uh, but this is a controller you can use and again i'll link those videos in the video description if you want to find out how the goggles and the controller work so again we have a bunch of lights here on the car you know it has a nice little effect ground effect there you get your um, brake lights and your headlights here and they also act as turn signals so you can see the blinking as you turn the wheel and then if you're going in reverse you get brake lights and you can control the lights, turn them on off via the controller as well. You can change the color here, turn them off, etc. So again, it functions the same as in the previous generation. So with this larger size here, they've, they've gone to sort of more traditional RC setup for a rock crawler. It's uh, independent uh, four-wheel drive all the time. You got your gears and everything. I think it's a brushed motor in there somewhere. Big battery, 150 minutes of runtime without the camera, and 45 minutes of runtime with the camera on there. So obviously the camera uses a quite a bit of juice. But yeah, it's independent or proportional steering. Uh, it's got independent shocks on all four wheels. So it is going to work fine in terms of going over certain obstacles. Now the one uh, obstacle, that, well, I guess obstacle that I had some issues with is when you're in loose dirt with like, you know, basically small little particles, then the wheels tend to spin and just throw the dirt around. Um, so this is, this is going to be better for rock crawling and not really for uh, off-roading into dirt. So keep that in mind. I don't actually have a bunch of rocks to go over, so, and I just, um, created some obstacles of my own with some uh, FPV parts and bags as you saw in the beginning of the video and yeah it goes over these obstacles no problem just imagine those are rocks instead 
Now this isn't meant for speed or racing. It's not very fast. I suppose you could race it if you really wanted to, if you had a bunch of these. But yeah, it is meant for more controlled speed and going over obstacles. As, as, as the name implies, it's a rock crawler. So if you're intending to get this for racing, I think you'll be disappointed. It's not very fast at all. Um, but if you want to get this for going over obstacles, then yeah, this is definitely a nice little model for that. Couple last things here, USB-C port here for charging. And then you have a power button here in the back. Press that and then power turns off. And again, the camera is detachable and then there's a little cover here that also attaches magnetically. Yeah, overall pretty nice. I like the fact that they in increased the size compared to the previous rock crawler. This one was pretty limited in terms of what you could do. Uh, this is definitely a lot more capable, it's much larger. So uh, you're gonna have a little more fun with this one compared to the smaller 164 scale. So if that's what you're looking for, check it out. There'll be a link in the video description. Again, make sure you select the correct version that you're interested in so you'll end up getting what you want and not be disappointed and get something that you're not looking for. Anyway, it's going to cover for this video. Got any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.